Hi everyone, my name is Cameron and I'm 24 years old. I am from South Africa. I've been living in China for the past three years, but I'm currently in the beautiful city of Bayujan. So we're now in, currently in a pandemic, but I just want to introduce my school to you. We're still having online classes, so let me take you in for a walk, okay? So this is our entrance and this is Leo. Leo, say hello. hello. <laughs> this is Leo. <laughs> let me take you to one of my favorite places in the whole school. So this is sort of like a little library, and when you come in, uh, hopefully you take off your shoes, and you can just come in and see we have so many books everywhere. Uh, it's a little reading corner, so if you want to read, or even just rest, we have like these comfortable couches and stuff. It's a very wonderful place and lovely atmosphere. All right, teacher's office, let's go. All right, so this is where the magic happens. All the preparation, uh, all of the hot topics, everything we need is in here. <laughs> this is Leo's earth. <laughs> we have an actual one here. Look. So, this is my earth. all of our teachers um, come in for their office hours. We prepare for class here. Uh, we chat about life, about things that we need, things that we hope to accomplish, our plans, our future, and yeah, it's just a good place. When we have offline classes and face to face classes, this place is such a wonderful place to be in. This is our classroom A. Um, Nika has lots of her classes in here. You can see we try to make it a very rich environment for the kids so they have lots of materials to look at. And you can see it goes all around, okay? And fun fact, I actually live in that apartment building there. <laughs> I wasn't scared really because uh, I trusted the Chinese government to you know, make sure everything's okay. And um, yeah, I think it wasn't a big problem for me. Yeah, I, I'll definitely say it's quite different. You know, there's something about being physically with the kids in the classroom that you just cannot have online. Um, here we try as much as we can to make sure we have good interaction with the kids, uh, but it's difficult because it's obviously virtually. And so the best you can do is like raising your hand, pressing buttons and clicking. But there's so much of like physical stuff, TPR and stuff that I would usually do and now I'm unable to do that with them. We cannot have the opportunity to even high five. So you see me in the class, I'm like high five with the camera. <laughs> yeah, so it does, it's been different but I will say that uh, in terms of teaching itself, we're able to reach our targets and our objectives successfully because we're using uh, class in it's a platform that's especially for online classes and so we're still able to teach effectively to uh, make sure our targets and objectives are reached and yeah at the end of the day the kids are learning what they're supposed to do i guess it's just not as fun as it would have been if it's in class so i say the only thing we're missing is that sort of excitement and encouragement of being in class but we try whenever we can we're like let's play a game <laughs> yeah and i find myself getting up earlier, so I have more time in the mornings. Um, and then I try to plan my schedule because I'm still a student, and so I like to prepare for exams and my projects and tasks that I need to. So I take about a f maybe two hours in the morning, not every day, but I try to, just to plan and prep for that. And then I prepare for whatever I need to do. Um, I'm really trying different things all the time, and so um, I'm working on a few different projects, like I have uh, my photography which I'm trying to get started and I want that to be going and so whenever I get a chance to I'll take some time off just to research you know speak to people about that and then I prepare for um, my classes I leave to school at about 2 p.m. get to school and I see everyone there that's always nice to be greeted by familiar faces and I have class and that's fun and after class I go home and then when I get home, I either cook or order. Yeah, so I try to do that all the time. And on my weekends, when I have free time, I like to visit, you know, places around me. But I haven't had time to do that recently because of the pandemic. But yeah, I'm hoping that that gets better and uh, positive that things are going to get better. <laughs>